good introduction, really, and we all know Mark Pauline. Thank you all for coming down and help us out here. Uh, excuse me if I'm a little bit stunned still, but it's it's been a really intense, uh, it's been an intense month and a half, you know, with the production for the show and everything like that. But the weeks have been just really, I mean, I've been doing this, SRL's been going on for almost 30 years now, and uh, me and all the other people here, we've done all kinds of dangerous things and taken risks preparing for the shows and building the machines and staging the shows, along with other, you know, thousands and thousands of people in the audience who have taken their own risks, but, uh, you know, I don't know, it's either... You know, it's, I've either been lucky or, I mean, the people around me who have been close to me have been lucky, but, you know, no one's, I mean, nothing like this has ever happened to me before, so, you know, I'm at a loss. I mean, I just, uh, it's been, you know, really a heavy, heavy load and really learning how to deal with it. And, uh, you know, our, as, as my wife was spending time uh, with Todd and, and Alex, uh, Todd's one and only uh, in the hospital, and I was packing, and uh, you know our, our three-year-old kid, Jake Eddie, you know he had to, you know he was getting passed around with different friends of ours uh, because we had to get the container packed and we had to really look after Todd and make sure everything was straightened out, and you know he just came up with this weird quote. He would just say, he'd be explaining it to him. He would just go, "Daddy, I don't know what I don't know." And he would say the same thing to Amy. He would go, Mommy, I, I don't know what I don't know. You know, and then he would just kind of go back into his kid thing, you know, and cheery kid thing. But, you know, it's, I mean, to, for me, that's been the quote of the moment. You know, I just, I mean, this is nothing like this has ever happened to me, uh, to my friends. I mean, it did happen to me, though. And I think that the thing that, that put me over the top and make me, you know, recover from blowing myself up back years and years ago and keep on with SRL was just the fact that the people who were close to me and who were around me at that time, back in 1982, really helped me. They really were there and they really helped me get over the hump and, you know, kind of got me somehow on a, a hill that I could just roll down enough to get my momentum up and going again. And so that's, uh, you know, I'm just, I've just been trying to figure out how I can do that for Todd, or how we can enable it, and, uh, you know, to try to communicate that to other people, and just try to understand what can be done, because, you know, I just, um, you know, I'm not really sure, we're just making our first steps, and, and this is really an important event, because, uh, I mean, we have, you know, we have helped other people out, in SRL, but it's you know it's different kind of circumstances. We've done benefits before for wonderful Tim North. Uh, you know, helped him out the last few months of his life, and his uh, and Susan, his wife, and uh, you know for Amy Miller who broke her hip. And but this is you know, I mean this is uh, you know I would I mean Todd's been just instrumental. And this is a really serious, serious injury. It doesn't, you know, this, I mean, we were, you know, you know, there were those of us who were there and saw Todd and, or saw the accident, saw everything that happened. I mean, it was, you know, it's, I mean, just, you know, nights and nights. It's still, you know, just a weird, unfinished, confusing dreams. And I know it's not me, it's a lot of the other people on the crew. But, uh, but you know, the thing, the thing about it that's, that's, that's so touching to me is that, and so important is, you know, my life just really revolves around these shows, but also just, these shows really are about all of the characters and all the people who work together to make it happen. I mean, I just kind of, I'm just sort of an instigator, really. You know, I, you know and, a, and a funder, or, you know, by hook or by crook, I make sure that, that the materials are there so we can do the shows. But you know, it's all about the people who were put their time and their energy into making these things happen. That's why SRL exists, and that's really 
the central support mechanism and structure that makes it happen. And Todd, you know, from the day he walked into the shop back in uh, 1990, he just said, hey, you know, I just think this stuff's great, and I just really want to do it. And I could just, you know, his enthusiasm was just like, you know, I mean, it almost like knocked me over. I was like, wow, you know, this guy is either crazy or he's serious. And uh, I mean, he just turned out to be crazy enough to be really serious. And his, uh, his, you know, my, you know, I mean, you know, the guy has like touched every one of the thousands of tools at SRL. He's worked with them, he's, you know, I mean, for an engineer, for someone who is, is a mechanical engineer, you know, like I guess you could call me by now, it's, uh, you know, like to have somebody use your equipment and your tools, you know, it's just the most intimate thing. And Todd's like touched all of those things. And, uh, you know, he's just, you know, from the first tour, you know, our tour in Europe, this is the third time we've gone overseas together, but, you know, his input into these productions has been very, you know, just really overwhelmingly essential. And uh, everyone who's a fan of SRL should, should remember that, you know, of course it's about the machines, you know, it's a, you know, I mean, on, on one level we create these worlds of, you know, where there's a believable mechanical life force going on. But the underpinnings of all this are the characters and the, you know, the, you know, the, the, the energy that comes from all the people who, who put their time in for this. And, uh, you know, Todd has really been a, a force of, you know, just when, just when I'm about to fall apart or, you know, like the order is about to fall apart, Todd always kind of has been able to come in at just the most critical times and like run a machine absolutely pinpoint perfectly where it really makes a show happen. Or he'll be able to like see there's a part of the show that isn't organizing correctly and he'll just come in, swoop in like an eagle out of the sky and just say, this is the direction we have to go now. Uh, this is really what needs to happen. And, you know, I can always, you know, at, you know, what Todd says is something I've always really taken really seriously. And, it, and because I've taken him seriously and because he's been so serious and been so right on, it's really, I mean, I can't tell you the number of jams he's gotten me and everyone else here out of. So, you know, basically, you know, we're just praying and hoping that, uh, that he'll be back with us. You know, this show, I, I want to show a little bit of uh, video from the show because, uh, you know, Todd was very, very intimately involved with this show. He was very uh, instrumental in setting up all of the, uh, the detailed uh, negotiations with uh, the RoboDoc people, which, uh, you know, for an overseas show is just really important. He's the one that made sure that, uh, you know, that, that we had a good contract, that we had a carnet, stuff that has to be done that's just like overwhelmingly uh, more pressing and more difficult than doing a local show no matter how big it is or even a show somewhere else in the United States out of town so uh, you know when you, when you look at this footage just remember that it, it just couldn't have even happened without Todd being there and uh, yeah